everybody. Welcome to Tangle Break. Today is part three of our pumpkin project. We're going to be doing braids, toodles, mace, and crescent moon. So go ahead and grab your pumpkin and your Sharpie black fine point markers and let's get started. Okay, so here's our pumpkin and the Tangles we did yesterday were Jetties, Wisteria, Huggins, and Printomp. So we're going to start just to the right of Printomp. And the first tangle we're going to do today is Brays. And all you're going to do is draw the top of a triangle. And then we're going to aura that to make a band that looks like the top of a triangle. And then skip some space and do it again, the top of a triangle, and aura it. Skip some space and do it again. And we're going to do this all the way down the whole section. So let's go ahead and label this section. It's the tangle is braise. And then we're going to go back to the top and fill in each of these bands.
Okay, the next step for braids is to go back up to the top. And what we're going to do is aura each of these bands on the top and the bottom. So we're just making a line that auras the band very close to it. And I have to move my pumpkin this way. And you'll see it in just a second. There you go. So we're going to go on top of each of the bands, the triangular bands that we made, and make an aura on the top and the bottom. Okay, I'm going to go back up to the very top of the pumpkin and draw a triangular shape and then fill in above it to the stem. And then I'm going to aura right underneath it. And then this section is finished. So braise is finished. So the next one we're going to do, the next tangle, is called toodles. So let's go ahead and label this section. It's called Toodles, T-O-O-D-L-E-S. And it's a fun one that will, it's a growing one. So you'll see, we're gonna, it looks like leaves. And we're going to start at the bottom. And we're going to start with a stem. Just a little curve coming out and going back in. And then I'm going to go to the right, coming out with a little dot at the end, and then on this side with a little dot at the end, and then I'm going to go to the very top of the stem and bring a leaf around, and then come on this side, the right-hand side, go underneath the border and come back around, and that is toodles. And we're going to have toodles going all the way up this section, and it will just build on itself. So make the stem come out, make the dot, go to the other side, go out and make a dot, go back to the top, and we're going to make our leaf coming in here, and this side going underneath the other leaf and coming in. And there you go. So go ahead and fill in this whole section with toodles.
Okay, now I'm going to go into the spots between the toodles and put in orbs. So I'm putting in the orbs, different sizes, and then filling in around the orbs to fill in the space between the toodles. And I'm doing that on this whole section. Okay, Toodles is now finished, and let's go to the next sec section here and do Nays. And how we're going to start is doing a zigzag all the way down. Okay, let's go ahead and label this tangle, NACE, K-N-A-S-E. Okay, so we're going to go back up to the top, and we're going to aura the zigzag on the right side. So 
So we're doing this just on the right side, making an aura of the zigzag of the triangles all the way down. Okay, now we're going to go back to the left side and draw a triangle and fill it in. And we're going to do this all the way down on this side of Nace. Okay, now go back to the top, and on the right side of all of these zigzags, we're going to make lines, just filling in that triangular space with lines. I'm going to turn my pumpkin because it's hard to draw on that side. And it's hard to see in this little one, but you'll see here. I'm just making straight lines. Filling in that triangle, and you can have a little curve to it because you are drawing on a curved pumpkin. And we're doing this all the way down on those triangles. And I'm going to turn it this way, whatever way makes it easier. The pumpkin can be sort of awkward to hold. So however you need to do it to make it easy. Okay, so the tangled nace is now finished, and we have one left for today, and that is crescent moon. So we're going to go to the right of nace and make 
crescent moon. We're going to start with our ladybugs or the crescents. And we're just going to go around and make these little ladybugs. And then we're going to go back and fill them in. So let's go ahead and label it. This is Crescent Moon. And I'm just going to draw a line here to stop the tangle. And keep doing the ladybugs all the way around. Okay, the next step is to fill in the ladybugs. Okay, the next step is to put an aura around each ladybug.
Now we're going to go around and do a second aura. And I'm meeting in the middle on a lot of these. Okay, now I'm going to go and make some more ladybugs to make a, another layer of crescent moon. So in these crevices, I'm putting in ladybugs and filling them in. And I'm going to go all the way around. And I'm going to go ahead and put in an, one aura around each of the new ladybugs that I'm drawing as I go around. Okay, now I'm going to go around and do a second aura. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do another layer. So I'm going to look at where the crevices are and put in another ladybug. And put in an aura. And then I'm going to fill in this little space here. So I went ahead and did the two auras on that one and filled in the leftover space. So now I'm going to go around again and make the ladybugs and this time I'm just going to do one aura 
And where there's a space, that's where I'm going to put a ladybug and one aura all the way around. And where there's extra space, I'm just going to fill it in. I'm not going to put another layer. I'm just going to fill it in. Okay, so now Crescent Moon is finished. And so we are finished with part three, with braise and toodles and nace and crescent moon. So I hope you enjoyed our break today, and I will see you tomorrow for part four. Bye for now.